Psalm chapter 121 I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. So stand in agreement with me as I pray and ask our Lord Jesus Christ to protect us and to protect our families, for him to keep us safe and healthy. Dear Father, I thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I thank you for the battles that you fight for me, those which are seen and those which are unseen. Father, I ask for divine protection. You know my struggles, Lord. You know what I am fighting against. You know what I am facing. And so I call for your help. I cannot do this alone. I cannot fight this battle alone. As I pray, Lord, even for the person who is listening, whatever it is that they are wrestling with, be it in their spirit, in their minds, in their bodies, whatever area of their life that's coming up against opposition, I call on the name that is above every name. I call on you, King Jesus. Set us free, because whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Set us free in our minds. Set us free in our bodies from the clutches of the enemy. Set us free from unrest in our hearts. Break the strongholds that your people face. Break the chains that are pulling your children down. No more fear. No more anxiety. No more unrest in our hearts. You have the final say, Lord Jesus, and your word says that you have come to give us life and life more abundantly. Your word says in Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, all who are weary and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. And so we seek your face, Lord Jesus. We come to you, Father. We come and bow down before your throne, asking for your help. We are asking for a supernatural breakthrough. Move in, Holy Spirit. Be our comfort at this time. And Lord, I ask that you forgive me if I have taken your grace and your goodness for granted. Your word has given me the promise that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I declare that no weapon formed against my family will prosper. I declare that no weapon formed against my mental health will prosper. I declare that no weapon formed against my finances will prosper in Jesus' name. And Lord, even while the enemy roams to and fro looking for whom he may devour, I stand by the power that's in the blood of Jesus Christ. I stand by the power that's in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I give you the throne to my heart and I bless your holy name. You stand above all, above any principalities, above any ruler of wickedness. There is none and there is nothing that can stand against you. And so I call upon your name. I believe that you will give me a breakthrough. Even though my eyes may not be able to see it now. I believe by faith and I believe that you are working on my behalf and you are working for my good. 
Lord Jesus, I pray for wisdom and discernment in this season. Help me to walk by faith and not by sight. Your word in Exodus 14 verse 14 says, The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And I pray that you fight my battles, Lord. Keep me from falling for the tricks of the enemy. Be a lamp unto my feet so that I may be saved from the path that is filled with unrighteousness and evil. Open my spiritual eyes so that I may have discernment against the schemes of the enemy. I speak the blood of Jesus upon all of my circumstances right now. The blood of Jesus which rises up to defeat all evil. The blood of Jesus which is my source of victory. Birth in me a desire to seek you, Lord. I will draw near to you, and I ask that you draw near to me, Father. Quicken my spirit so that I may not fall for the deception of the enemy. I pray for the light that is Jesus Christ to shine in my life. Destroy the darkness. Your word in Hebrews 12 says, You are a consuming fire meaning that you are a God who is powerful and holy. And so I ask that you burn away any cloud of confusion over my life. Burn away any spirit of fear that may try to attack my life. I come against the spirit of depression. I speak peace over my life. I thank you for being a faithful God. You are a God who will never leave me nor forsake me. I thank you for hearing my prayer, Father, and every single person who is in agreement, Lord, listening. Bless their lives, Lord Jesus. Fill their lives with peace. Give them a peace that is beyond all understanding. Because we look to you, Lord, we look to you in every aspect of our lives. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. 